What is up you guys? Welcome on in. So today we're going to chat makeup and we're going to chat about the things that I feel like are super underrated. You should know about. They're so good. You'll get to see a lot of them being applied to day two. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say with that too, but anyway, but also a few things that I also applied that I think are under or overrated. I knew I would get these confused. Overrated, meaning maybe they're kind of hyped up. A lot of people talk about them, but they're, I, I personally don't think they're that good. Okay, let's dive in. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun one, I promise. So I wanted to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Casetify. That is the phone case brand, one of the most popular phone case brands. They make all kinds of tech accessories, but it is basically the exclusive brand I've been using for my phone cases. So they recently launched their clear case and apparently it was the most requested case design that Casetify has ever had. And so they really wanted to do it right. So what they've done is they've created one that is optimized to prevent yellowing. That was really big to me because in the past when I've had clear cases from other brands that were like cheaper, they would turn yellow and just get kind of murky and weird looking after a few weeks, especially a few months of going in and out of my purse. So I love that these are designed to look cleaner and nicer for a longer period of time. They're really durable. These are drop test approved up to 6.6 .6 feet. I'll show you a drop test right now. I'm just always impressed with how little I'm worried when I drop my phone and I drop my phone multiple times a day, like most of us. I don't know what it is. I just, I've got butterfingers. I love that I just know in my bones that if I drop my phone in these cases, they'll be fine. You know what I mean? But they're also constructed really well. They have tactile buttons where you're like actually pushing it. You know what I mean? It's just got a really nice hand feel, finger feel, you know? <laughs> Plus they're made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials, which I think is really cool. Of course, this is the clear one that I love. I also have a clear one that is customized. So I have my name on this, so you could customize it if you wanted. I just feel like this gives a very like clean girl, minimal aesthetic, and that I am certainly drawn to <laughs> quite often in life. So I love that. I also have a few other just cute cases. This is the one I was using previously. It has all of these different book designs. I think that is so cute. This is one that I got a lot of questions about when I had it on my phone. I think that design is so pretty. This one is really cute with all the flowers and it's kind of wavy. And this is actually their bounce case, which is even more protective. If you're really concerned about that, these are really, really nice because they literally like bounce on that edge. The thing that was really important to me is that the case is mag safe compatible. So I could put it on my wireless charger. I've got like a wireless battery charger. I just turned on my <laughs> flashlight and like my husband uses a MagSafe wallet. So that's important to him too. So Caseify's clear case is available for iPhone models 12, 13, and 14. I just absolutely love it. Like I said, I love how sleek and clean it looks. They have so many different options of cases, so many different prints to choose between. I mean, there is something for everyone. Anything you are slightly interested in, they will have phone cases for. Plus you can customize some of their cases. They just have a lot of different options. So definitely worth checking them out. If you want to get 15% off your Caseify order, you can go to caseify.com slash Jessica Braun. I'll put that right at the top of the description box as usual. And thank you again, Caseify, for sponsoring this part of the video. I've been using this Disney princess mug like exclusively. I got it in Disney World. I've looked for it online. I'll look for it again. I can't link it, um, but it is. it just makes me happy. Okay, let's talk the good stuff first. So first off, something I recently discovered that I think is absolutely beautiful and is underrated is the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. This is a glowy primer absolutely stunning. It doesn't have, let me kind of swatch it and double check. Yeah, there is absolutely no detectable like shimmer in it. It's just a glow and it's so pretty. I will say I don't put this like on my chin because I already see, you can already see, I just have an oily chin <laughs> by nature. And so it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't need any more glow there, but I put it everywhere else. I put it on my nose. I put it on the rest of my face and I like putting it on my under eye as well. Cause I feel like there's something about glowy primers that can look so pretty underneath concealer. I don't know what that is. Anyway, of course, then I end up setting it, so maybe it's pointless. But regardless, this is just really pretty. There hasn't been a lot from Pixie I've tried recently that I felt strongly about in a positive way, but this is one that I was like, ooh, ooh, I really, really like it. So wanted to point that out if you're in need of a new glowy primer. I have a lot of glowy primers I like that are more expensive, and this is kind of the mid-range price-wise, um, and I was so excited that it is so good. Okay, this I love so much, and I've loved it for years, and uh, some of you that have been around a while already know about this product, but I realized I have not talked about this much in the past like year plus, and it's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. 
This is one of my absolute favorites, especially in the winter because my skin's just a little bit drier, a little bit more kind of dull. This just revives my face. I feel like it looks so pretty on the skin. I don't know why this is not more talked about. When I asked you guys on my Instagram, which shameless plug, come say hey to me over there. I'm very active on Instagram. It's at, it's Jessica Braun. Anyway, when I asked you guys over there what you think are some overhyped and underhyped, overrated, underrated, same thing. Uh, products, a lot of you guys mentioned this. So I'm like, well, maybe it's not as underrated as I thought, but either way, I love it so much. I agree with you guys. I have the shade 30 Beige Rose. It's a little bit dark for me. My original best shade was 15. And when I was decluttering my foundations in a video, I got rid of that one because it was so old and it was nearly empty. Um, but that one I feel like I can never find in store. So I have to figure out where to find that shade. I wonder if Amazon has it. Anyway, I absolutely love it. Medium coverage, you can build it up a little bit. Um, definitely glowy, not like glowy, glowy, but like, I wonder if you have oily skin, you might not like this, but everyone else, I think you would absolutely love it. It is so pretty. It makes your skin still look like skin, but with a little bit of coverage. And I am such a fan. Now today I applied it over this and I think that's too much glow. So I found myself setting my face with powder, which I do most days anyway, but it definitely needed it. So I don't know that you need a glowy primer with this, but I wanted to be able to show you both on. So there we go. It is 65 degrees and sunny here in the middle of February or well, creeping on the end of February. And that is incredible. It, it drops right on back down to like 30s and 40s soon, but I'm like, I need to make sure I get outside today and like soak up that vitamin D, you know what I mean? It's gotta last me a few more weeks of winter. <laughs> Another underrated product is what is on my lips today. So this, is a drugstore lipstick you've probably heard of. You've probably seen it at the drugstore and you pass right on by. These are, I think, my absolute favorite drugstore lipstick. And it's the Maybelline Color Sensational line. I particularly love the cream ones. That like that is the line that I love. So they have a matte line, I think a shine line, etc. I've tried those. The cream one is where it's at. So I'm wearing the shade Warm Me Up, which is so interesting that it's called Warm Me Up because I picture it being a warm toned color, but it's actually a cool toned kind of pink. Maybe that's the idea that your lips are turning blue that you're so cold, that's kind of weird. Anyway, regardless, this is like my favorite pink shade, period. Like anytime I've got way too many lipsticks in my lipstick drawer that needs to be decluttered next, it's making me, my mind, like anytime I open that drawer, I'm like, ha, who? Either way, point is, stay tuned for that video, I guess, but this is the one warm me up that I reach for always. I think the other thing that's thrown me off is the color of um, the actual lid. Now I'm wondering if I got them switched up. I wonder if that's supposed to be on there and that's supposed to be on there. Well, I don't know. Either way, um, warm me up's my favorite. I also really like, and I'll show you these side by side, flush punch is a really pretty pink that's a little warmer toned. And then, then there's warm me up. I mean, they're so similar. So cooler tone, go for warm me up. Warmer tone, go for flush punch. I love this formula. It's just comfortable to wear. I mean, it's not gonna be something you, that lasts on your lips for 10 years, you know, but it. I just think it looks pretty. I just think it looks pretty. So big fan of this formula, highly recommend. So underrated. Also another thing, and actually before I mention this, let me make sure it's still being sold. Okay, so I'm looking on Neutrogena's site and they do still sell this and they have four different shades, but the only one still in stock is actually the shade I'm gonna recommend to you. But it's the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush. I did see this on Amazon, which is probably where I'll link it for you guys. How do I say this? It's a blush that always applies really evenly. Like I just always feel like it looks really nice and well blended. And the shade, this one in Rosie is definitely a favorite. It's totally a dupe for the NARS blush. I just really like this formula. I wish they would like reinvigorate this line and maybe restock those colors. I don't know if it's being discontinued. It is so good. It is so good. So want to recommend it. I've recommended it before on my channel, but I, it's so good. So give it a try. If you just want like an everyday blush, especially if you're near my skin tone, this shade will work really well for you. And I just, I think it's so lovely. And I've noticed the wear time on this lasts really well too. This powder, this is a brand that sold at Sephora, but the pricing of it, it's a lot less expensive than the other brands, which is always exciting. The brand is LYS or Love Yourself is what that stands for, beauty. This is their triple fix translucent setting powder. This is one I talked about for quite a while a few years ago, but I wanna, I wanna reinvigorate that love because it will set the under eye in the most perfect, way where it all looks so much flatter than it was 
and of course it sets the concealer itself as well. I tend to um, use setting powder like this here and here, but I don't always bring it really far up here because sometimes I feel like with any under eye powder, if you get it really into that crow's feet area, it can look a lot worse. And I think I'd rather just tap out what's there than have it look crepey. That's just a side note, but I love the way that this just kind of evens everything out in that area. It sets it, it looks so much nicer than when I don't. Like I'll literally sit in front of the camera and look and be like, why do I look so bizarre? And I'm like, if I forget setting powder on my under eye, it's obvious to me. So this is something that I feel like is so good. The price is not wildly exorbitant, especially for a product sold at Sephora. This is lasting me forever. I've had the same one forever. And you do you use such a little bit in it anyway. So a little goes a long way. It is amazing, cute packaging as well. And it does have a mirror, if you were curious. I can't look at this packaging though and not think of in the office when they're launching Sabre's, um, I almost went said Sabre, Sabre's uh, Pyramid Tablet. <laughs> Another underrated product is the, I only have one eye product on my eyes, I mean like shadow, and it is these. These are the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadows. These are probably the prettiest eye thing I have in my entire eye drawer. They are like a cream to powder. I would classify these as a powder, but they're so creamy, it's bizarre. So that's why I'm like, it's kind of a cream, cream to powder, but it is so comically glowy. It's so freaking pretty. So I used the shade Wish. If I were to recommend one shade, it would be this one. It's a slightly warmer tone, and I feel like something about this would be pretty on most people's eyes and skin tones. I mean, are you kidding me? Look at that. I want you to watch me swatch one of these. So this other shade, which I actually tapped in the center of my eyes. I don't know if I filmed that part, but I just kind of tapped it in the center, like I just said, <laughs> is the shade Moonrise. This is the original one that I owned. I mean, so they're really similar, cooler, warmer. I love both. They work well together. They both are beautiful on their own. I, uh, side note, I was using the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara and I was going real slow because I know this stupid stuff, it's really pretty, but it, you will poke yourself in the eye every time. I was going real slow and doing so good and I was near the end and I was like, let me touch up this corner and freaking poke myself in the eye. Hurt so bad. So I'm still dealing with like fallout of like, you know, eye crusties, I'm sorry if that's gross, like with mascara in them. It's like one of those love hate. It's bad enough though. I poke myself in the eye enough that I'm like, would I buy this again? I don't know. It is a weapon. I don't know what it is, but anyway, back to what we were saying. So I love both of these shades. I also bought a third shade, which is in Star Child. And this I haven't used as much, but it is so pretty. It's kind of like a pinky red. Um, it's, I mean, it is a red though. So keep that in mind. That's why I haven't used it as much, but I was just so drawn to the color. I think when I was buying it though, I was hoping it'd be a lighter pink, more like a, almost like a blush tone for me, but for my eyes. But anyway, these, the formula of this is unlike, truly, truly you guys, unlike anything I've ever tried. It is similar, but more pigmented than the ColourPop eyeshadows. If you've ever tried that kind of cream to powder, these are similar, but they're still different, you guys. If you've ever swatched one of these, you'd see what I mean, but I, I like these better. So good. I don't think you need a bunch. I think you need one, but I just absolutely love it. <laughs> this is an underrated product from the drugstore. It is like, I think six or seven bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood. It's from the brand JCAT. It's their Lux Pro Powder, specifically their Pearl Luminizer. I heard about this from Taylor Wynn years ago and we did a video like collaboration type thing together. I'll link those below. If you want a blast from the past, that felt like it was yesterday, but then I realized like it was years ago and that is wild to me. So if you want to check those out, it was a video she did, a video I did, and we we're in each other's video. Anyway, uh, I'll link them below. <laughs> I might go back and rewatch those. This is something she had me try. Uh, she was right, as usual. It is absolutely stunning. So it's a loose, highlighting powder. It's pearlescent and it is so slight and beautiful. And I think that's why over the years I've, this has continued to be like a top tier. If I were to get rid of all of my highlights, this would be like one of three I would keep for sure, undoubtedly. It's so pretty. And it, I hate that it's kind of messy. Like you gotta open the, the lid and then a lot of it comes out. I usually just use whatever's in the lid, but then you gotta deal with all that, you know. So JCAT, if you're listening, I'll pay a dollar more if you get better packaging. <laughs> 
But I mean, I've had this for years and I've barely made a dent. There were definitely times where I was using this every single day. So very inexpensive. You'll never run out of it. I just absolutely love it. It gives the prettiest, most almost natural glow to the skin that you can barely tell you're wearing highlighter, even though you definitely are, you know? Mm, I love it. Let's talk overrated stuff. Things that I just don't think are great. One of them, as I tried them again today, I'm like, okay, I'm on the fence. So why don't we start with that one? I was totally like ready to be like, it's overrated. Then I used it again and I was like, okay, it's fine. And that would be the Rare Beauty bronzer sticks. I've realized why I don't like these. So first of all, the packaging is cute. It's got one of these, you can draw the bronzer on. It's a cream and they're very creamy. But every time I blended them, I'm like, I don't love the way they blend onto the skin. But today I used a better brush for it. And so that made me instantly be like, okay, maybe it's a little bit better than I had given it credit for. The brush I use, by the way, is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I love this for cream bronzer. It's very similar to my Haley's Beauty one I also love, which is a little bit more expensive, but only by like a couple dollars. So that helped. Having a really good brush like this that's a little bit denser, but really soft, helped a lot. I cannot get a shade that works. These are definitely more warm leaning, which it's a bronzer. I mean, they're supposed to be but I just prefer on myself a little bit more of a neutral tone. So if they could just release a shade that was just less super warm, you know what I mean? I would love it. I hope that they do because I would give it another shot. But yeah, I just feel like it's one of those things that it's the formula is good. And especially now that I found how to apply it that looks better on me. But I just feel like there's so many other ones out there that are so good that until I find a shade match that's perfect for me, so that's what I mean by, I'm like, well, then I can't really say it's overrated because a shade match, that's such a personal thing. So I don't think they're terrible. Hopefully that makes sense. I thought about just not bringing it up at all, but I'm like, well, I might as well talk about my thoughts. Oh boy, yeah. Is this overrated? <laughs> the freaking Milani uh, Highly Rated Lash Extensions Mascara. This was meant to be a tubing mascara, supposedly a dupe for the Thrive Cosmetics, one that I've tried and loved. I'm a tubing mascara gal and this ain't it. <laughs> this is not it. It is the wettest formula you've ever tried. It will give you three whole entire lashes and that is it, no more, no less. I don't get it. And so I know a lot of people have tried it too and they're like, okay, no, like absolutely not. You can wipe off a little bit of the brush like onto something and then apply it and it helps a bit. But again, I'm like, that detracts from the product itself. You shouldn't have to work so hard at it. That's why I like, even though I like this L'Oreal telescopic lift, you know, I hate that I poke myself in the eye. So yes, I like the end result, but I don't know if I like it enough, like to actually purchase it again because I keep freaking poking myself in the eye. So I just think that it's overrated. You know, I do know some of you guys have commented and you actually really like it to each their own. If you like a more wet formula, maybe you like it, but I just, oof, I do not. Next up, any Charlotte Tilbury powder highlight, <laughs> any of them. I have two different ones here. I have this one that's like the giant pan. I don't think this is terrible, but it is overrated. It's nothing special. They both, actually I'm curious to see these next to each other. This is their newer launch, their Glow Glide highlighter. I just feel like they emphasize the texture on your face a lot. I showed that in a recent video, me applying the new line and they feel like drugstore quality. And I don't mean that as a slight towards drugstore cause you guys know I love drugstore makeup, but I mean it as a slight towards this brand because they're charging so much. So generally I love a lot from that brand, but these are not, I don't know what they're doing. I'm like, why can't they nail this formula? Like what is, <laughs> I don't know. They just cannot get the highlight formula right. Now cream highlight, absolutely. I love those, but yeah, not the powder. I would stay away. Another product that I had been so excited to try for so long, it's the M Cosmetics. It's like their dewy blush and I have the shade Rose Milk. I had been eyeing this forever. I finally was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy it on their site. Now I bought a ton from their site and it wasn't as big of a deal, but I just kept dragging my feet because I hate having to buy from brand sites if I don't have to, unless they're having like a crazy sale. Anyway, first of all, it can be hard to get product out of there, but once you, I think you have to like push it and then get it, okay. Yeah, so there we go. It is too dewy. <laughs> And that makes me so sad. So let me apply a little bit because we're at the end of the video anyway. It can be really pretty, but I just feel like if you want it to last, it's not gonna. <laughs> it's just not the kind of product. It's one of those products that like I could put on before filming and it can look really pretty, but after a few hours, it's just kind of fading away because it does have that like oily quality to it. So the product itself is not terrible, but the wear time is and 
you know, it's just one of those things that I love the idea of it. And anytime I've ever seen anyone applying it on camera, I'm like, oh, it looks so pretty. And look at how it looks so healthy and like it catches the light so nicely. But in reality and day to day life, I never reach for it because I know it only looks good for a few hours and then it's gone. So really bummed because I mean, look how cute that is. That is adorable. Is that everything? I think it is. So that was so much fun. So I mentioned earlier that I'd asked you guys on Instagram your thoughts on what's overrated, what's underrated. I'm gonna have to put together plans for another video incorporating your guys' recommendations and non-recommendations for over, over and underrated because there, there were some interesting ones on there. Things, A, that I haven't tried that you guys mentioned were underrated. Also, just the things you said were overrated, I'm interested in sharing that with you guys because there were a lot of similarities between what you guys were saying. So. Definitely stay tuned for that. I hope you subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. I upload two to three videos a week, depending on <laughs> how my week goes basically with kids. And a special shout out to my robotic floor vac for uh, making an appearance. I tried to cover him as well as I could. He might need to find a new home if I film here more often, we'll see. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you subscribe. I'd also love to come say hey to me, or you you do it, you come say hey to me on Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Facebook. I'd love to see you in any of those places that you use. And I love you guys, I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.